guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a kind of serious but also really fun topic and that is how to convince your parents to let you get a pet. Now personally I do have a lot of experience with this being a teen who still lives with her parents. I have convinced my parents to get a variety of animals including the turtles and the axolotl from a dog to a hamster, although the dog was kind of a family thing. Basically the point is I've had experience with this, so I know what it's like to have parents who kind of just say no, but not really knowing why, and just how to convince them and get over that roadblock so that you can get the pet of your dreams. Wow, that sounds really cheesy. Anyway, <laughs> with all that aside, I do want to start this video out by saying, especially if you are younger, the decision to get a pet will ultimately be up to your parents because should something happen, they are the ones responsible for you. You are the ones still living in their house and you should be respecting their decisions. They might be thinking of circumstances that you're not even considering, like who might watch the pet while you're on vacation or we just don't have the space or time right now. And those are all valid reasons to not get an animal. So just keep trying, don't be discouraged. Eventually persistence and time will have its way and eventually you probably will be able to get the pet that you want. But the tips I'm sharing today, if you just have parents who just won't let you get a pet maybe because they don't think you're responsible or they just don't understand the needs of the animal, what I've learned should be able to also help you in convincing your parents to let you get a pet. So let's get on with it. The first thing you need to do when you're trying to get permission is do your research. Obviously you can't convince someone that you should get something if you yourself know nothing about it, especially if it's something as big of a responsibility as a pet. So with a pet, you want to make sure you know exactly what you want and how to care for it and all these aspects so that they would be more inclined to actually allow you to get the animal. Some things to consider are do I have the space for the animal? Who is going to pay for the animal or do I have the money to pay for the animal? Does it eat anything special that I need to be aware of? How long can it go without feeding? Because that's something important to know um, if you're going on vacation. And so take all those factors into consideration so that when your parents ask you, what is it going to eat? How much is it going to cost? Where is it going to live? How much space does it take up? How long does it live? All those things, you will be able to answer them and have good answers for them. And that way they know that you've done your research and are going to be able to care for the animal should they let you get it. The next thing is be responsible. Now in general, if you're trying to convince your parents of anything, this is a huge thing that can like basically be a deciding factor on if they'll let you get something or do something or not. So if you show them that you can be accountable by turning in your homework on time, getting good grades, cleaning your room without being asked, they'll be more inclined to assume that you will be able to have the responsibility of a pet and that six months later down the road, you will still want that pet and it won't be handed off to them because you're not carrying it for it anymore. Also, another thing you can do is just do community jobs around the house, such as washing the dishes or vacuuming a room that everybody uses. Um, and your parents really appreciate those things. And when they see you doing that, they want to reward you for that good behavior. And so that can also help to soften them up when you are trying to get permission for an animal. The third thing you're gonna wanna do is talk to your parents about getting this pet and let them know that you're serious. So you do this by, like if you, like I said, you should be doing research throughout this whole process. And so if you show them that you're not just playing video games or scrolling Instagram and you're actually, they look over and they see you on the computer researching animals, they'll know that you're serious or something I like to do is actually get a book because most parents, if they see you reading a book, they'll know that you're serious because it's not just some form of digital media, if you know what I mean. Like it's great to do research on the internet, but sometimes just like reading a book gets their attention. I don't know why, but it works and it shows them that you're serious. So you can do that as well, but show them that you're researching, drop random facts, and then just most importantly, talk to them about it. Let them know that this is something you really want, something you're serious about. Show them that you're knowledgeable. So if they have questions for you, you'll already have answers ready for them. And this shows your parents that this is something you you've been thinking about for a while and it didn't just come up on a whim. Now, if you're still having a hard time with convincing them that this is something you should have in your life, then offer to pay for it, especially if you have the means to do so because that almost eliminates any of the concerns they might have. It's not gonna be any cost to them and they'll know that you're gonna be invested in this animal because naturally, if you're paying for something with your own money, you naturally just want to take better care of it. And so that's why 
offering to pay for it is one of the best ways to just get your parents to say yes because it's at no cost to them. And if they do say no, like I said in the beginning, ultimately it will be up to them because it's their house and you're still under their roof and you might just have to wait. But usually persistence and showing them you're responsible will win out. Continue being a just all around good person and a good kid and a helpful kid and they will appreciate that and they will want to reward that. To recap, you want to do your own research, be responsible, talk to your parents about it and show them that you're serious, maybe even offer to pay for it. And the final thing is you have to know that you are going to be the one caring for this animal for your entire life um, because I just, I feel like so it's so easy for us to just see things as novelties, things come and go, trends come and go, and at one time something's cool and then six months later down the road it's not so cool. But for pets, once you take ownership of that animal, it is dependent on you for its life, like literally. You are the one bringing in its food, you're the one cleaning its habitat, and you are the one who is sustaining that animal, and so you want to be able to give that pet the best quality life it deserves. So you have to be willing to care for this animal for its entire life. And I really hope that you, the person watching this, if you are trying to get a pet, that you intend to care for it forever because all too often I just see people, especially young people, just getting a pet and then even six months or a year later down the road, they just don't think it's cool anymore. They don't care as much and the pet ends up getting rehomed and or even worse, just passing away because of not being cared for. And that's just really sad because the animal is dependent on you. And I cannot stress that enough. But if you watched the video this long, I'm assuming that you do care for the animal's welfare. So I wish you the best of luck with your parents. I know sometimes how difficult they can be. I hope these tips helped you. If they did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And while you're there, click the red subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see all my future videos. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Like, you honestly don't even know. So I will see you guys next Friday, and have a totally awesome day. Bye!